Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. I wanted to get some new paints because the current acrylic paint that I have isn't fairly really nice. It was just some like cheapo stuff that I bought to do arts and crafts with. So yeah, but anyway, so this is not sponsored by Liquid Text. I literally just chose it because I know they're good quality heavy body paints and they were going to arrive in like two days. So I was like, cool. Also, I've never used Liquid Text before. So this is going to be very interesting and exciting to test. Okay, so these are heavy body paints. These are professional paints. So they're not cheap, but they are cheaper than golden paints. <laughs> As you can see, this is the set of 12 classics and I loved it because it's got all the colors that I need. It's got basically red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple, and white and black. So yeah, I can pretty much mix all sorts of stuff. So yeah, let's um, get to work and start painting. My first thing is probably to swatch these paints. So first up, Yellow Light Hansa. So this is quite a cool yellow. This is the red, so it's not cadmium yellow or cadmium red. It's okay. This is still quite a good alternative for cadmium. Ooh, I like that. Although they do have swatches here, these are printed swatches. So you never know if they, like if the printing colors are slightly off. <laughs> white to this you can make some stunning pinks it's a beautiful pink and then we can add even more white Ooh, this pink is so beautiful the purple this purple is gorgeous and it's super versatile as well so this purple is very concentrated if we had to just take a tiny bit of white you can make beautiful shades of purple sometimes mixing the perfect purple shade can be quite difficult so this is a great alternative next so this is phalo blue in the green shade i also do prefer the green shade and in phalo green i prefer the blue shade <laughs> so this is also really really great bright beautiful blue as you can see though it is a transparent blue though so not super opaque but they do give you an opaque option of blue which is brilliant blue and again if you obviously added white to this you can make an array of beautiful colors so phalo blue is always a good option if you don't have ultramarine Next up is Brilliant Blue. So as we're saying, this is an opaque shade of blue. These little things here tells you on the back of the tube. So this is part of the series one. It's an opaque paint and it's got excellent light fastness. Oopsie. Yeah, you can already tell it's more opaque. Next up, we've got Phalo Green in the blue shade, which is what I like. So usually if I had to pick a green, it would be Phalo Green or Viridian Green. So again, this is like the Phalo Blue. It's going to be transparent. So if you zoom in here, you can see that it is transparent. But then they also offer Emerald Green, which is the opaque green that they give in this palette. So I'm cleaning my brush before every color so they don't mix. Yeah, so you can see that this is gonna be a lot more opaque. It's already opaque on on my mixing palette. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, next is bronze yellow. I was trying to figure out online if this was like, like a burnt umber or like a yellow ochre or between the two, so we're gonna see now. Or if it's just bronze. Oh, uh, okay. It's like a raw sienna color. Yeah, that's like raw sienna. Yellow ochre and raw sienna are very similar, but that looks more raw sienna. They call it bronze yellow, and it's an opaque paint. Next up, Ivory Black. I don't usually work in a lot of black paint. Next is White. Now the only thing I don't like about this palette, it's great, colors are great, but they give you two whites. I would have preferred to have seen a burnt umber or a raw umber shade as opposed to another white. So that is my only downside with this. So I'm not gonna swatch both of these whites. I'm just gonna swatch the one of them. Oh, that's a very nice white. Okay, super white. And it's very opaque. That is wonderful. If I had to rate this whole palette out of 
10, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. And that is just because they've given two whites and I would rather have seen a burnt umber or a raw umber because umber is a very, very versatile color and it's very nice for your paints. But these are really beautiful colors to start your palette off. You can do so much color mixing with these. So kudos and well done to Liquitex for making a really cool palette. But yeah, I'd give it still 9 out of 10. So I wonder how long these are going to take to dry. Like that one's already dry. The white's still a bit tacky, so as you can see, it's been a couple of minutes. Oh, 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 o